were talking with David Roberts at Advanced Cabling about the first security towers installation that was done in 2005. 2005. Started in 2004, completed the first part of 2005. Very good. So can you tell us uh, what was the uniqueness of this project? Yeah, a couple of things unique, John, actually. First is the size of the building. Uh, being in the market we're in, Little Rock, Arkansas, not a lot of high-rise buildings. So this was the first building that was over 10 stories that had been built in several years. Now you know that poses several challenges. Um, combine that with the fact that this is going to be the first multi-use development that really started uh, the urban living uh, development here in central Arkansas. And so the first seven floors of the facility are a Courtyard Marriott Hotel. The next four floors are a trading firm that uh, trades stocks on the New York Stock Exchange. And then the top three floors are uh, luxury condominiums. So you got multi-use multi, multi -use development, which causes multi, multiple codes literally per floor. Mm -hmm. So that part made it unique in that the code changes were literally by floor. Yeah, and then also in there, a seven-story parking garage attached to it also right. that's part we, of the system. Absolutely, which adds a fourth element to the design criteria. So there was a lot of work and design that had to go in on the front end to make sure we met the code requirements, but also it was practical for its use. Right, and y'all went in with the broadband technology through Gamewell FCI? That's correct. Gamewell FCI 7100, net solo, fully voice evacuation, full redundancy. Why was the Gamewell FCI the logical equipment choice for this project, and how did you communicate with the electrical contractors and or the end users on that? Not only was it a logical equipment choice, it really was the only equipment choice, being that they wanted a fully networked system there were none of the competitors that could meet that criteria. So we, we worked with the electrical engineers and the owners directly on the front end and made sure that they understood that it was really the only choice for their system. David, during the sales and installation process, what was the smartest move maneuver that you guys made in order to, on this, to make this project a winner? I think getting in on the front end with the engineer and with the owner and really talking through it with them and setting the design criteria, we really had a lot of power on this job to work with them and with the authority having jurisdiction to design the system and really make it a, a practical use system while also meeting the local codes. Oh, fantastic. So you actually worked with the end user before the project Absolutely. ever got to start, worked mm -hmm. with the engineers, the MEP firms, and all that. Yeah. That's fantastic. And, and, and this developer has done multiple uh, developments downtown in that same area since then. Mm -hmm. um, one building, 303rd Tower, is 18 stories that's right next door to it, and we, we did that system as well and it has a Gamewell FCI system in it as well, the E3 series. Mm -hmm. um, fully so, redundant, fiber optic network, same developer, and, and the reason is because of the job that was done at First Security and his happiness with the equipment. Okay, so that was going out before that facility even broke ground or yep. got to the, the, the bid phase, you guys had gone in and Absolutely. worked with the end user and all that other good stuff. Because of this project being yeah. such a success. So what you're telling me is you guys are salesmen, not order takers. That's correct. Very good, I like that. Uh, tell me anything unusual that happened either during the installation or after the installation about this facility. Well, uh, we had two fires, <laughs> so no, no better way to test the system than with an actual fire. Right. The first one um, happened right when the building had gotten its certificate of, certificate of occupancy, and that was a gentleman trying to light a gas fireplace. And So that would be up in the upper level condo? Yeah, condos. in the luxury condo. Okay. He was trying to light a gas fireplace without draining the gas line, mm -hmm. and there was an explosion, and there wasn't a lot of smoke. Uh, but there was a tremendous amount of heat, as you would suspect, and right. the heat detector actuated the alarm, and the building management was notified. Unfortunately, the first responders got there before anybody could be hurt and too much property damage could be done. And the guy was okay? The Every, everybody person? was fine, yeah, thankfully. Okay. Okay. But it, it tested the system, it tested the voice evacuation, and notified everybody the way it was supposed to. So it really was a trial by fire <laughs> in the true sense of the word.